Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today we're going to be doing a fun tutorial. I was going to be doing the random box from Call of Duty Zombies, but that was giving me issues. So instead, I did a Perka Cola, specifically Juggernog. If you've never played Call of Duty Zombies, uh, Perka Colas are drinkable drinks that are in um, pop machines around the map. You pay a fee, uh, you get the perk, and then that perk gives you some sort of bonus. Juggernog gives you a lot more health. To be specific, now these numbers could be a little bit wrong, it takes you from being able to withstand two zombie hits to go down to being uh, lets you able to withstand five zombie hits before going down. I could be wrong there. And I'm not modeling this perfectly off Call of Duty Zombies. <clears throat> um, but let's get to it. Now there's a couple things you're going to need to build first. First you need to build your drink machine. Now I did this out of two um, crates, a jetpack, a monitor, and a floor piece thing all glued together. And I have a light here that shines red light everywhere because uh, Juggernog machines cast red light. The second thing you need to do, and this this is optional, um, and if your character is equipping something, like a gun or a sword or something like that, I recommend just don't do this. But I've made a little bottle right here, even if it does look like a ketchup bottle. It's actually my drink. And I've made it. So, um, yeah. Let's get to it. First things first, the character model that I'm working with here, or the character brain, is the uh, third person venture. And actually very, very little is done to this player. And what we're going to do is we're going to display meter health, and we're going to add... Max number is max health. Now just for us, we are also going to display health plus, I'm going to put a slash, plus max health also at top right corner. Top left, I mean. That way we can see a numeric value for how much health our player has. And the only other thing I want to do, and this uh, this is just to demonstrate how Juggernaut... Oh, one last thing I should say about the perks. If you die, you lose all your perks. So, what we're going to be doing is when is dead, countdown timer, oh, like point one, really, really short countdown timer, um, revive. And it's also important to go into your player settings Go to combat, health and defenses, and make sure destroy after death is turned off. So, that's literally all you have to do to the player. It does very little to the player. All the code is housed in our Perca-Cola machines, which the more I can keep the code out of the player, the simpler our player is to work with. So, let's go into our Perca-Cola machine and delete everything. All right, so what we're gonna do is when global new variable called Juggernog, which that's a nod to the word juggernaut, but like a nog, like a drink, whatever. When it is false, when interacted, global juggernog equals true. One other thing, when it equals false, we're going to, no, not global. We're going to do in world picker, pick our player, Max health, oh, hang on, is combat, combat properties, health defenses, max health equals 20. There we go. Now, it's worth mentioning, if you're going to be using your player with a template, there's another way that you have to do this. Um, I will show you guys that at the end of the video, but... If, you're, if your player is just placed in the world like mine is, this is how you do it. If you're going to spawn in your player from a template, then there's a different way you have to do it. But let's just go with this for now. Then, when global juggernog uh, is equal to true, this is where the fun begins. First, let's have a little jingle that lasts for like maybe five seconds. Get them away. So, for the duration of five seconds, we are going to play sound 
and I had a good sound earlier. I'm gonna search music. There we go. So play music. Yeah, that should work. And then started to. Um, we're going to increase its max health, our player's max health. So we're going to select it again. Um, their max health equals 50. There we go. So that's the core of it. And then the other thing is when our player is dead, global, oh, not that, juggernaut, come on, work with me, equals false. So that's pretty much the basic of, basicness of it. When you have the drink, which you get from purchasing it, then your maximum health goes up. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail on how a point system works that you can purchase it with, but if you were going to be using a point system to purchase it with, or a coin system, you'd need to put interacted um, down un as a child line of code, and like when global, I don't know, points, no, 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 your points here is greater than or equal to, and if I remember right, I'm just, I'm just gonna put 20. Now, in Call of Duty, Zombies, um, Juggernaut costs 2,500, but that's a pretty big number for what I'm working with here. So, that's what you would need here. And then when interacted, it would be started to global, your points here, decremented by 20. There you go. Simple as that. All right, now let's add some cosmetic flares. Now we've already added the sound. And what the other thing we should do is we should display the icon. So we're gonna do display and I'm going to search health, I believe, and then go to the icons panel. And I'm gonna pick this one, but you can pick any of these hearts. Put it, no, not above bottom left and let's scale it down because it'll show up as a pretty big man I just can't select the right icons today scale 0.5 there we go um, another cosmetic flourish is that I earlier spent a while recording a connect emote so I want to do started to uh, actually no let's see started to emote Go to our gallery picker, and then drinking. And then we're going to, uh, oh, no, you have to put it before. There we go. Emote drinking. And I happen to know, because I've previewed this tutorial, that at 3.5 seconds is when in my animation he lets go of the bottle. Now, once again, I will reiterate, if your character is equipping swords, guns, weapons, etc. I would you, you skip over this bit. But um started to um our player equip in world picker my bottle of juggernaut and then countdown timer 3.5 our player, um, no, not there, unequip to inventory. And this will make it look like he actually takes a drink of the bottle. And um, this will, the emote, I would definitely say do the emote because, you know, it looks cool. But the, um, the bodily equip, it's not such a big deal. So that's pretty much all of it uh, let's give it a test I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed I think that's it so 
Test. Oh yeah, I still have the point system. Now, I don't have the points that I would need to um, buy Juggernog, so I need to go in and remove that system. There we go. Alright, so now I can buy the perk, take a drink of the bottle, then let it go. And at this point, I have my maximum health has increased. Now, there is the one thing I forgot, which is healing me back up to full health. But other than that, it looks like it's working. Now, I'm going to let the zombie kill me. And when I die, I should immediately revive. But now I have no juggernog and my maximum health is back down to 20 i could go repurchase it my maximum health goes back up to 50 perk is in the corner the whole nine yards so let's add that line of code to heal our player back up to full so, um, underneath increasing the max health started to um no not there it'd be under combat heal our player to 50 there we go so that's pretty much the tutorial um hope that helps this was pretty quick um now i'm going to show you guys if you're going to spawn in your character by a template so first let's make our player i'm going to rename him awesome player so we keep track of him we're going to go to his properties go to his brain make him a template now he's purple and he's awesome. I'm also going to grab a logic cube. Put the logic cube here and do uh, once create the player. There we go. Now, when we do this, I think you'll notice if I was to spawn him in like this, um, everything seems normal. But the perk machine doesn't increase my maximum health. And that's a problem because, you know, we want our maximum health increased. What we need to do is in our player, under this once category, or you can just do your own once, or no, or no longer if you can't hit any of the right tiles, once global, let's do an object variable called player equals me that's all you need to do and then you go into the perka cola machine and every time you see our awesome player you need to delete it and replace it with global player simple as that so let's just scroll down here awesome player you need to replace with global player awesome player global player you might be asking, why would you want to have the character spawn in like that? And there's a number of reasons why you would do that. Um, if you're going to have a cutscene, you may want your player to move somewhere at the end of the cutscene or during cuts. Um, if your player dies, oh, no, not that. If your player dies and you want them to respawn elsewhere, um, I feel like there's better reasons than this, but I can't, I can't remember. Um, yeah, pretty much if you're going to spawn in your character from a template, that's the way to do it. So now let's give it a try now that we have converted our machine over to the global variable. Perfect. Does that work great or what? So that's how you would change it around if you're going to be spawning your player in by a template. So now let's have the zombie kill us. And the zombie's programmed to hit... 10 damage every time there we go so i lost my jug need to go buy more jug alrighty so thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful um if you have any other requests please let me know so uh thanks for watching i will see you guys later